All right, what's up, everyone? Epo Dempsey Roll here, aka Rayo. I'm back with a bit of a, a bit of information, a bit of news, sort of. So, yesterday Sony had their state of play, which was like kind of like their summer event, showing off games that are coming out in the next few months to the next year or so, and it was pretty enjoyable. They had a number of um, of interesting games that 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 seemed cool to me nothing really boring or nothing that seemed like like completely whack you know so i that was one of the better ones for me at least coming from sony and you know uh whenever these big things come out i'm always like oh, oh are we gonna see dragon's dogma 2 maybe maybe <laughs> and it didn't happen unfortunately <laughs> so we'll we'll have to hold out hope for another thing 2022 baby it's gonna happen however there's there's a little bit of a, a little ray of sunshine there uh for you folks out there to supplement your dragon's dogma diet final fantasy 16 the trailer came out and it looked really really great i'm sort of a lapsed final fantasy fan i haven't played any of the recent ones but i do remember playing and super enjoying the ones from from the nes all the way to the playstation uh, I love those older games. So this one seems pretty interesting, hopefully maybe. And we've got this document here, which was released after the trailer dropped on Twitter from, from Square Enix, sort of showing off the development staff. And can we zoom in? So we've got uh, producer Naoki Yoshida, Past titles, Final Fantasy XIV Online, Dragon Quest X, Dragon Quest Monster Battle Road. Uh, so Yoshida famously saved Final Fantasy XIV. I haven't played that game myself, but uh, everyone seems to really be happy with that game, especially in the story department. So the fact that he's working on a, on a, on a single-player Final Fantasy game is quite promising. And a number of other developers that we have here that come from various Final Fantasy games. So that's all very encouraging. Even the main director worked on Final Fantasy V. So, so uh, Hiroshi Takai over here is quite old school. Now let's zoom out and can we zoom in here? This is the one that I wanted to show you guys. Combat director Ryota Suzuki. And it says here Devil May Cry. I'll skip this one. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And then finally Dragon's Dogma. So this is the combat director for Final Fantasy 16. And this news actually dropped probably a year ago, but seeing it here. Uh, that he's working as like the the director for the game is just really cool and it's really encouraging Yeah, so about a year ago news dropped that uh, Ryota Suzuki was leaving Capcom and To me that was pretty surprising. He seemed like he had a very important role to play in making Devil May Cry 5 super awesome uh, He was the designer on that and of course Dragon's Dogma. He was the gameplay He was the gameplay player lead um, that's what he's credited as right there. Um, and also he was the design lead on Dragon on Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. He also worked on Monster Hunter World, Devil May Cry 4, and then a number of fighting games before that, like like JoJo the Fighting Game in 1999, Project Justice or Rival Schools in 2000, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Capcom vs. SNK, on and on and on. And... One of the things that I really, really loved about Dragon's Dogma was just how responsive, just how action-packed, impactful, and expressive uh, the combat was in Dragon's Dogma. And that was that that kind of came from Devil May Cry first, right? Devil May Cry kind of had all of those things. And I felt like Dragon's Dogma kind of carried it over into sort of like an action RPG realm where you just had a lot more customization, a lot, uh, magic was a bigger deal, obviously, and it just really had so much more that you could do and try in Dragon's Dogma. Now, the fact that Ryota Suzuki is working on Final Fantasy 16 is really promising. This is your homework, guys. Go, go and check out the trailers, the latest trailer for Final Fantasy 16. Check out the older trailer, actually, that came out a year and a half ago or so and you tell me does it look 
like it has a bit of that action, a bit of that impact, a little bit of that intensity. A lot of the effects seem really cool. And yeah, I just think there's something there's something there that feels really crisp, really action based, and it's exciting to me. And and now and now we'll be able to play with uh with more stuff even like like the summons. The summons look really great and impactful. Um so it's promising, it's promising from the combat perspective to say nothing of the art direction or the music or the story all of those things i think have the potential to to make this game quite possibly the best final fantasy game to date hopefully maybe and again if you're kind of starving for some something that's kind of like dragon's dogma i'm not saying it's going to be exactly the same but at the very least there's going to be a bit of connection there in some way shape or form thanks to the involvement of ryota suzuki suzuki uh, the combat director. So I think that's going to do it for me, guys. Just a little quick one, uh, just to talk about s mm, the state of play and this little bit of information that I noticed here. So yeah, what are your thoughts on Final Fantasy 16? What are your thoughts on the animation? What are your thoughts on <laughs> Ryota Suzuki? Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. GG.